We'd like to provide a quick overview of JAMA Connect and show you how it enables medical device companies to manage the complexities of product development. Let's start with a brief overview of JAMA. Our mission is to modernize, digitize, and transform the complex product development process. Industry-leading medical device companies rely on the JAMA product development platform to manage requirements, risks, testing, and product volatility. By operationalizing their development process, medical device teams can establish a predictable product development process to mitigate risk, improve quality, and decrease time to market. JAMA Connect allows you to streamline your design controls process so that teams can spend more time on innovation and less time on paperwork. JAMA Connect aims to ease the path to regulatory compliance by providing impact analysis to make informed decisions as requirements evolve, ensuring quality with end-to-end -end traceability, linking high-level and subsystem requirements, managing risk analysis according to ISO 14971 directly in the platform, increasing stakeholder visibility and participation in the review process, building reports and exporting data for audit preparation or feedback into your quality management system, and managing test cases used for verification and validation to comply with FDA and ISO regulations. Let's take a look at how it all works within JAMA Connect. The JAMA Connect home screen provides a dashboard of your work, recently viewed items, active reviews, and open conversation streams allow you to get up to speed quickly on the work that requires your attention. Let's take a look at one of our assigned projects for the Clear 3 hearing aid. Here, we have a medical device example that mixes both hardware and software to develop a Class 2 hearing aid. This page is completely configurable to best support the way your organization works. On the left-hand side is the Explorer tree where you can view market requirements, system, and subsystem requirements for both hardware and software teams. This example shows the data organized to match the system architecture of the hearing aid, allowing you to visualize the system and follow regulations like IEC 15288 or 21 CFR 820. In many ways, this can be configured to resemble your design history file. On the right-hand side, the project dashboard gives you an overview of the things most important to you, like project status, overall life cycle, status of the requirements, missing requirements, or validation tests so that you can easily navigate to them. The dashboard is completely configurable, allowing you to view the metrics that matter most to you. When you want to get started reading, editing, or creating new requirements, you can navigate to the Explorer tree and select the set of items that they want to view. Let's say we want to review the system requirements. The existing system requirements appear and can be reviewed in a variety of ways depending on your role. List View provides a table format of the requirements, reading more like a spreadsheet. Reading View, on the other hand, expands the requirements to show more information in a single view, reading more like a document. It's easily configurable to add things like status and priority. You can also view trace relationships to show which upstream and downstream items are related to the system requirement, providing full context all within the same view. Commenting is also built into each item, making it easy to ask questions, raise decisions, or notify people that a change has been made. The stream allows you to make a comment, see previous conversations, and invite relevant stakeholders to address what needs to be completed. Traceability is a critical component for successful requirements management. The relationship diagram tells you how information is allowed to be decomposed and traced within a project. It sets the stage for the information you are collecting. This set of rules allows 21 CFR 820 and relative parts of ISO 13485. JAMA also can prevent you from making traces outside of this set of rules so that you don't introduce risk by allowing inappropriate traces between data. There are numerous ways that you can work with traceability views in JAMA itself. For instance, the Coverage Explorer shows full end-to-end -end traceability, 
showing the traceability from the user needs down to the system requirements and user stories and where there may be gaps in traceability. These views are also exportable to Excel, maintaining the same format that is displayed in JAMA Connect. You can also view Relationships and Trace View, which looks at items live, allowing you to scroll between columns to view the latest data and add new information and trace relationships directly in this view. Heading back into our project, JAMA also makes collaborating more efficient, allowing teams to conduct virtual reviews of requirements, test cases, user needs or test results through the Review Center. This eliminates the need to pass Word documents back and forth, bringing the latest comments and revisions into JAMA Connect. Let's take a look at how Review Center works. First, you can set up and assign reviews, establishing deadlines and inviting relevant stakeholders to participate as either approvers who can add their signature or reviewers who can provide subject matter expertise. Once it's time to review the requirements, you can see where requirements have been approved or need more work. It's easy to click into each requirement and see where people have added comments or action items that need to be addressed. Comments are retained for context to help future users understand why decisions were made. You can also take a look at the reviews, statistics, and progress, seeing who still needs to make comments or approve the requirements. This helps get team members on the same page to get buy-in for the solution that they ultimately build, leading to a higher quality of requirements and faster review cycles. At the conclusion of a review, JAMA can optionally require an electronic signature to help support 21 CFR Part 11 compliance. After you've finalized your requirements and risk assessments, you can perform manual testing with test management. JAMA Connect allows you to author and manage test cases, as well as compile them into test protocols and then perform test execution. Here's an example of a test plan composed of a group of test cases, which can be customized by dragging items on the right-hand side into the selected test group. You can also look at active test runs, selecting the test you want to work through, and mark the testing status as pass or fail and record the test results for each step. You can also attach files or screenshots directly into the Rich Text Editor and log defects within this view, rather than using an external tool. This creates automatic traceability between the defect and the test case, all within JAMA Connect. Once you've completed your project, JAMA Connect has three reporting engines that help facilitate exporting documents and reports so that regulatory submissions and audit preparations become a straightforward process. We hope you've enjoyed the overview of how JAMA software can help medical device companies overcome the complexities of product development. You can learn more at jamasoftware.com.